Hello everyone and welcome to the High res Expo 2018. My name is Lasigris here with the awesome Ron Jobbert. How you doing? Awesome is a really good adjective to use for I me. I like the word. I'm like I super like you, down. So. I like you too and I'm glad yeah. that we're doing this together. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean we were talking the whole time about how we got to work together at some point. We got to work together and now's our opportunity so it's pretty dope. No, yeah, it actually went into like threats. <laughs> like I was like, if I don't work with Gabby, I'm going to do something crazy. Brad's and they didn't standing wanna... over there and we we're just like... Brad, if you don't let me work with happen. Gabby, <laughs> I'm going to lose yeah. my mind. But of course, you know, everyone in the audience, they want to see all of the other awesome people that we have here at HRX, starting off with Kelly Link. How you doing? I am doing really well. It is. I can't tell you how excited I am to be back here. I mean, I got to watch SWC last year, but I didn't actually get to participate. And I mean, I've been here since the launch tournament, so it's really nice to be back on the desk. Yeah, definitely. And what exactly made you want to return to HRX after, I mean, we missed you last year? I mean, it's Smite, man. I, it could be 15 years down the line now when I host a Smite event. The, the games that you get to see are phenomenal. Also, I already got to see Amir be picked by Elevate, so my weekend's already yeah. made. I don't need anything else. If a hell is picked, I will freak out. Yeah, the uh, they probably will pick it. Uh, so we're looking at you, Emil Z. You have a lot of pressure on you. So uh, the artist formerly known as hi -Res Kelly, uh, if you, okay, so they, they come to you or do you go to them? You know, do you say, I want to host, I want to host HRX. What do you say, you know, in that scenario? Oh, oh no, they came to me. Oh. You, you didn't beg? Kelly doesn't need to beg. I'm like 90% certain that she begged. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it for the interview, everyone. Have a good <laughs> Oh my God, thanks so much. Wow, we're getting carted off. Uh, no, man, I, I, to I got to do the caster with you guys earlier and I told them that I was really interested in being a part of the Smitey sports scene again. So here I am. I'm really glad to be back. Yeah. Well, one last thing for you. Going into this event, what's your favorite thing you're looking forward to most? Oh. Man, I mean, there's so many good storylines going on right now. We got LG versus Energy, which has been a rematch for the last three years. And we got Obey versus Elevate, and we had that amazing match during Super Regionals. So yes. I just am excited for these matchups today. I think these matchups today might be the best that we're going to see all week. Well, I know everyone has a lot to look forward with you. You can catch her hosting the Smite desk throughout the weekend. So Thank look you. forward to it. Yeah. Go kill it. All right, we're done with the snow card. Do you want to do the honors? That one? Throw it? Toss it? Yeah. I almost there hit a staff member and killed him. Paper cuts are deadly, man. I almost killed him. <laughs> well, that was insane. I hope you don't kill the next guest, because, I mean, he's kind of cool. Is there a reason so. why I wouldn't want to? Well, I mean, he's kind of in charge of the paladin's desk oh. all weekend. Okay. So, yeah, this is no, Golden yeah, Boy here. Hop on down. I like those dance moves. This is my shimmy. This is what I do. You know, I'm excited. HRX, my fourth year. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked. You know, it's going to be fun. How does it feel to be one of the people that has been here at every single event like this that we've had? I feel old, uh, most importantly. Uh, but, right. uh, you know, humbled right. uh, that they call me uh, every year. So, you know, it's been, it's been a blast. Like, you know, I, was, I, did, I didn't do the launch tournament. Uh, you know, they made a mistake, and that's okay. Uh, mistakes are made. I blame Nabil uh, and Stu uh, <laughs> and Andy Ooh. and Todd. Uh, I blame them all. I'm kidding, but you know, I I did, and I, I'm just very honored to to have been here. Uh, I did the first HRX because of Gandhi. Actually, Gandhi called me and then told me that I had no choice and I was doing it. And uh, since then, uh, that forceful, you know, opportunity <laughs> led to all this. So I'm really grateful. So doing the Paladin stage this year, right? Do you longingly press your hand against, you know, tempered glass and you look at the Smite stage and you say, <laughs> I, I miss you. What, do you? what do you think about doing a different game this year? Uh, well, you know, um, I didn't expect that, by the way. I didn't expect the mic to come this way. Uh, we can do both at the we, same yeah, time. Should, if you're no, I think it might destroy audio, please. <laughs> no, we can try. Um, it's fine. Uh, so tempered glass, yes. Uh, you right. know, I, I'm very, Mood. very sad. You know, to the Smite fans and the Smite community, I, I love you. Uh, you guys have been amazing to me throughout my career. And I wish I was here. But, I mean, come on. Kelly Link is the host. And I honestly yeah. couldn't think of a better person to, you know, take that role. And also, I'm known as an FPS guy. Uh, my entire right. career has been, you know, shooters and FPS games. So why not? You know, it was, a, it was a perfect fit, and I'm just honored to be back again. Well, and we'll get you on the main stage when Paladin's Finals happens, correct? Yes, you will, and it's going to be awesome. We had some great games yesterday. Uh, the Brazilian team, Space Station Gaming, had one heck. Yeah. I mean, you were there. You saw it had one heck of a game. It was awesome. So I, I, I'm a, 
you know, I think uh, not only are we going to have exciting games here, we're going to have exciting games and exciting finals in that main stage. I think the crowd's really going to dig. And it's going to feel nice to be back in the main hall again. So during the Paladin stage yesterday, you saw most of the teams. Do you have any predictions based on what you know and what you've already seen besides Brazil? Because that's a very, you know, bandwagon pick. And okay. people might get upset about that. Okay, you know, you need to stop. Okay. You need to check John yourself. Bobbert. Okay, you got to relax here. Uh, NIP. NIP. Yeah, I got to go NIP. Yeah. That, that's like my team to go all the way. I really like that team. I mean, the stuff that they were doing yesterday was just was insane. Uh, so I, I want to see NIP uh, take it. But, you know, it, it North America G2, right? Kind of rooting for the, the NA guys. But, you know, I just want to see some great Paladins. Yeah. Either way, it's a win. Yeah. Should be a lot of action going on. You can catch all of that on Twitch.tv slash Paladins Game and many different platforms. But I'm excited to see what you got. I'm sure everyone else is. And we'll see you at the desk, man. All right. I'll see you later. I'm, cool. uh, where do I go? Where do I go? You just walk in front of me. Nobody cares. <laughs> He made his escape. No, yeah, he uh, he was going to do whatever he wanted. He's, he's a yeah. diva. Well, I have another note card for you to toss. I feel really bad because I just threw this one, and I almost, like, sliced that guy's head off. So I'm just going to, like... Just aim better. Just toss it. <laughs> that was kind of a weak throw. I man. still hit him. Like, uh, I hit his feet. <laughs> well, no more hitting today. The next people that we have, they're your boys. So I figure you boys. can go ahead and introduce them. Yeah, I'm going to introduce... Uh, we have... Spiff Sinister first, first and foremost, and then that's it. And then nobody, nobody else is coming onto the stage, just Spiff. Just Spiff. No, we've got, uh, we've got Jeff and Barra too. The yeah. plot armored documentary boys mm -hmm. who uh, just ruthlessly beat up Australia on purpose. Yeah. We were trying to be nice to them. First of all, you taunted <laughs> after you, you soloed a guy. Me. What was I supposed to do? He just blew his whole kit and just jumped at me. I'm like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna laugh at you now. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's talk about that later because everybody in the crowd is really disappointed. <laughs> well. So, so Spiff, yes. I'm gonna ask you a question really quick. Do people like the LG documentary more or the Obey documentary? Uh, I think people like the the LG documentary more. Obey sucks. Spiff just said Obey sucks. I, I did just say that verbatim, actually. Obey sucks. <laughs> well, the next question actually goes to Spiff as well. With all of the different storylines that happen within the Smite scene, what made you choose this one in particular? Uh, well, I knew that, you know, LG has been the most tenured team. Barra and, and Jeff have been together for basically the longest out of anyone, I think, at this point. Maybe not, but that, that's probably true. Uh, so we had the most to work with, and also I knew that their story in particular has a lot more than than just you know we want to be the best of the game. It's it's uh, I don't know. It was it was more personal. It was more touching. So uh, their dynamic even is is more touching than I think most team dynamics. So that's kind of why we chose it. It was just more of a human thing. Yeah, Spiff almost started crying. Just now. Just like five seconds ago, he almost started crying. So I've got a question for the players over here. What's up, people? And Eras. And it's Erez is gone. Man. He's just gone. Just he came and he went. A whiff of Erez. So I've got a question for you guys. So last year, you know, you barely snuck into Worlds. That was literal. Like, you, you didn't even win yourselves in. So another team did. This year, are you more confident than you've ever been? <laughs> Who wants to answer first? Than we've ever been? Yeah, even season one. Yeah! That's yes. really not, not encouraging. I said yes twice. Okay. Three times. Three. Say it again. I mean, I mean, in all honesty, yes, like we feel insanely confident going into this because I feel like we've learned so much throughout this year because we've just been choking this whole year, like North America as a whole. But I think we've been studying a lot. We've been scrimming a lot. We've been doing double scrims lately. And I actually just feel insanely confident at this tournament. The next question goes to you, actually, going back to the documentary. What was your favorite part of it all? It was when Spiff locked me in a hotel room for three hours straight and then berated me like with that. offensive questions. <laughs> yeah. For shame. We actually turned off the AC. We locked him in. We turned off the AC. He was like sweating. It was just, yeah, it was, it was fun. So I've got a, another documentary question because that's uh, really, really what we're trying to go for here. Um, what is your favorite blooper or clip that people at home maybe didn't see that I think I might know the answer to, but I'm going to ask you anyway? Uh, yeah, there was this one part where. Uh, 
Bear was talking about how he wanted to face adapting. He wanted to prove that he was the best. He wanted to show him that there was no one better than him in the entire world. And then I just screamed, how'd that work out, dumbass? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, also on the topic of the documentary, maybe something uh, a little less crazy there. <laughs> Jeff Finla, after this has aired, do you feel people know you a bit better on kind of a personal level? Uh, yeah, for sure, because I, so I have my stream and stuff, but you just don't, oh, you just see a lot of gameplay, right? You don't actually get to sit down and I, like, I only answer some questions, but it's never about personal stuff, so it was awesome. I do want to say I'm super proud of you guys. Really great season. Super proud of you. Really great documentary. Both of them. I mean, if you haven't seen the Obey one, for sure. Do you, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to, uh, I'm here, but uh, the other person I made this with, Lewis Element, yes. is not here. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Lewis. Uh, he's my better half. Thank you. I love Aww, him too. So sweet. Well, thanks for talking to us, guys. We'll let you go and enjoy the event. So, ta ta for hey, now. Good luck. Hi. Right. All right, the next one we got up, she's an amazing woman, the VP of Marketing. Coming all the way from EU, we've got Vero. How you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Well, one thing I know everyone wants to kind of know first, with the marketing team, how exactly does that operate? Uh, so basically, it's super exciting. We're doing a lot of stuff, and we have an amazing team in Alpharetta and actually in Europe. And our, one of our main focus is uh, doing things around engagement and communication. So basically, across all the years, what we're doing is trying to create content, exciting content to communicate about you know, the new stuff we're doing in the game, etc. And um, for example, just this year, we actually supported more than 400 content creators across the world. So about 37 to country and uh, 22 languages. So it's very key for us you know, to, to continue to do that. It's super cool. And watching the visible growth of hi -res is is really sick, especially as a former fan, now employee. So tell everybody at home, you know, you work with Brighton. That, that's the office that you yeah. that you work with. Tell us a little bit about the challenges and kind of the more fun parts of working over there as opposed to Alpharetta. Oh, uh, it's actually very exciting. I mean, Brighton is our European headquarters. So basically, uh, we have a lot of diversity in terms of nationality and what we're doing. So we have about eight. Uh, we actually have eight different nationalities in our office. Uh, we are a team of 18, which is uh, pretty lean, but very exciting. Uh, and uh, we're working across different things. So localization. So we have the team translating the game, uh, also community, but also everything around economy commerce and business. So the good thing with, uh, with this team is actually uh, the fact we are very lean and very small, we are actually really working very closely together. So we're creating a lot of stuff to interact with our user. And that was something very key for us when, when I got appointed uh, in February 16, it was to have an office to actually be closer to our European communities and be there for, for our fans in Europe to be able to create you know cool program for them, but also talking to them in their language and their time zone. So that's actually been very successful for us. Yeah, it's really exciting, honestly. Mm -hmm. cool. yep. And the last question that we have for you, what's your favorite part about your job? Ha, huh. it's a very good question. All I love, of it. I love it all, yeah. No. Um, Actually, this type of event is what I really enjoy because it gives us an opportunity to actually meet up with the fans and spend some time with them. So even across all the year, um, last year and the year to come, we've been attending a lot of consumer events and meeting with the fans, spending time talking to them about our games, getting their feedback is actually a moment I really cherish in my job. So, and you know, it's just, Seeing the happiness when they meet with us and when they talk about our game, how they get animated and stuff is really cool. So, Well, you definitely sound very passionate about your work, which is a wonderful thing to have here at hi -Rez. Thanks for talking to us. We'll let you go ahead and enjoy the event. Yeah, have a nice HRX. Do you right. have any note cards for me to dispose of? I actually have two. Oh, I've, okay. So, so here's how one. Do I, okay. Here's that one. How about I just... Yeah. All right. And uh, do you want to get a little creative with that one? Yeah, I might uh, just... That one was had to put a bit more of a flair on that yeah, one for sure. Yeah, they, they missed the 
kind of the nice spin you had going on it. Is that even in frame? Like, is I don't that, even think even, so. Does that even have a purpose at this <laughs> point? That, you know, just to make our lives easier with no, these, yeah, I guess. This guy's throwing stuff. I don't <laughs> like him hosting my event. Well, why don't you go ahead and introduce the next people that we have? I'm pretty sure the next people that we have are uh, are looking at us right now. We've got Pon well, Pon faces. and Ajax. Oh, uh, yeah. We have F dot. We have F dot and Egro. <laughs> So, yeah, we had it wrong, guys. So oh, this is aggro one too. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, there's a whole bunch of these. Oh, these are great. Oh, there's man. actually a lot of these. If you're at HRX now and you're seeing this, you yourself can get your hands on one of Exclusive these. Exclusive HRX only giveaway. Yeah, it's five hundred dollars. My but favorite thing so far. No, he did. He did. He, he, Hindu man has been asking me if it's funny the entire time. So. How's it going, Ron? It's great to see you. It's great to see you too. How's your HRX been so far? Oh, so much fun. I was here yesterday. It was a little quiet, but I was watching the games. Still got to meet a bunch of people, meeting fans in the hotel lobbies, taking pictures. It was just, it started off strong. Started off strong. Uh, one thing as far as we're excited about these, we have a lot of other things that have slowly been spoiled over time. So going with Pon Pon first, what is your favorite spoiler thus far? Uh, the favorite spoiler thus far is the uh, stuff we talked about like last week with the Season 5 map. All those blog posts we had about like the changes we're making to the gameplay design, the things we're changing to the map, the things we're doing technical side for it. Uh, actually being able to talk about those for once has been great because we've been working on it for like months, almost a year now. So being able to actually talk about it has been really cool. It's actually really interesting to watch because I feel like going, you know, from season one to two was a huge change, just like we're having now. Yeah. And going from season one to two, everyone's like, oh my god, it's like a totally new game. And then from four to five, it was a little bit more reserved. What, uh, what do you have to offer for people at home who are like, oh, well, it's going to be, you know, what changes do you think, without spoiling anything, could right. you tell them and say, you know, don't worry? So one of our main goals with the new Season 5 Conquest map was to make Conquest still feel like Conquest. So you're going to see the main core strategies, laning, jungling, making sure that players need to split up. But we're making so many kind of like mathematical changes, the way experience ramps up over time, the way you split experience. It's going to change the feel quite a bit and the pacing specifically. You're going to see less uh, snowball early game, but you're going to have more meaningful late game fights. And you're going to have a completely new art set on the map. So it's going to be Conquest, but a little different kind of across the board. So recognizable, but still different in lots of ways. Well, one of the great things about high res is a lot of the employees get pulled from the community. So you yourself, you were a player, and then on the community team, now on the design team. So how does that feel, the game that you love and have been involved with for so long, you get to see it evolve and with your influence? Yeah, it was actually really cool because when I first launched Smite the first time, I didn't know that I'd end up being working on the game. That was back in like 2012. Uh, and then I got to be a pro player, I got to see it from the, the player side, got to work on the community team. And now as a designer on the project, being able to be in all the meetings and talk about the things that we're doing, with the goal of making sure that the pro players feel really good and the community feels really good about the changes. Uh, it's it's humbling. Every time I'm asked, that's always really humbling because it's it's so crazy to be working on the game that I have so much passion for. I've been working on it for years. I've been playing for years. Well, thanks, guys. There's many spoilers ahead in the keynote. And I, then I actually have to talk about it. one oh, question, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, one more question. Um, how many Amaterasu clothing items do you own? and are wearing now. I'm only wearing one today. I've got my t-shirt at home for a later date. Sometimes I like to double layer because it's funny. Right. You know, but I got the, uh, I got all I need is what I'll say. <laughs> I'm prepared. And I just want to give a quick shout out to, since we've added Pond to the design team, he's been doing a fantastic job. Yes. It's like having another huge asset in our design team has just made season five and all the balance that we've been doing recently like way stronger and everything's going really smoothly. I'm really excited about it. So great job, man. Very high praise. and. Not gonna lie, I have the same sweatshirt and I'm kind of mad that we're not both wearing it today because that would be pretty sick. Yeah, we could be matching. You know, I could wear it again, but you know, this is kind of like my thing, so I guess it's cool <laughs> if you wear it. Why don't you let I him have, have his own thing, Gabby? Yeah, no one else can buy the shirt. That's my new take goal. It it's actually not even for sale anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I have to contact us and take it off, everybody. Yeah. But we'll leave that to your signature for now. Thanks, guys. You can go ahead Thank and you. enjoy the event. Have a nice HRX, guys. Yeah. Who, who wow. knew that Pon Pon would be killing it? The guy who destroys me in playtests. Is he your nemesis in playtests? I don't even fight back at this point. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get another opportunity to try and overthrow him in the future. But we do have somebody else right here on the sideline, MLC Stealth. How are you doing? Go ahead and take hey, a step over it's here. You. Hey, it's me. Oh, hey. Hello, everybody. It's me. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing today? 
perfect. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I hope you're doing well. Now, one thing, you've been here before as a player. Now you're here as an employee. How different does that feel? Uh, it's definitely a lot different being here as an employee. Uh, for starters, like there, there were games yesterday that started, and it was crazy watching those games and not being a part of the like experience of playing. Normally, there's like an anxiety inside me this whole time. That's like, man, I'm excited to play. I'm excited to get up on stage. That's not there this time. It's nice because I get to relax and get to appreciate HRX as a whole and not have to worry about playing because it's stressful to play. It's really fun to play, though. I definitely miss it. It's very bittersweet for me. So when it comes to being an employee, what is something that you can uh, take your mind off of the uh, horrible jealousy of not being up stage and playing? Um, I, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just great not to... I, I, I got Chick-fil-A yesterday uh, during games, so it's great to be... Normally I'd have to play Smite, but I get to eat food instead, and it's nice to eat food. I usually do it a couple times a day. Well, that makes the players kind of sound like prisoners a little bit when you say they don't get food or... Okay, well, we, we'll touch on that later, I guess. Who needs food, right? But as far oh my as... God. <laughs> just actually a robot here. You know, I just run on energy drinks and water. That's it. So. You're probably actually correct. Yeah, probably. But now on the community team, what would you say is your favorite part about working with them? It's just a lot of fun to be able to interact with the whole Smite community. Um, you know, it kind of stinks not being a pro player anymore, but I still get to like hang out with the people that I would hang out with. Like, I would stream a lot, and it's cool to see names of people that would visit me often. And I, I'm on the Smite Reddit all the time talking to people. And it's great to be able to collect their feedback, present it to the devs. I really feel like I get to make a difference just because I just put myself in the eyes of like what the community would want, and it's great to just be able to speak for them and just tell high res what needs to be done to make Smite a better game. So for the people out there, uh, I'd say that most people would agree that you're killing it. You're doing a great job on the on the community team. You're super active. People love it when you just like reply to them on Reddit. Like they just love that. What is your favorite part, or what is maybe a favorite interaction that you've had with a fan since being community that maybe knew you as a player or something like that? Um, well, I, so I made a tweet um, two days ago, and I probably shouldn't have. I said, if anybody sees me at this event, just sprint at me, and it'll be fun. We'll just run around the center a couple times. I've already had a couple people running at me today, and it's actually pretty terrifying. Please, if you see me, don't run at me. I'm tired. <laughs> you know, I don't want to twist an ankle before the big event starts. Please. You need that cardio, though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but SWC is here. I got to know. Who do you think is going to take it all? Uh, you know, I'm kind of hoping NRG takes it, and I think they will. Um, I'm hoping for, for the three-peat, but that's mostly because I want the list of world champions to remain small. It's nice to be in such an exclusive club. That's a good, uh, that's a good way to put it. And I'm, you know, happy to have you part of the team. You were after me, so I feel like I have the right to say that. <laughs> you came after me. I did. Well, the ca I, I got here before the caster started. So. Okay. So now you have to retract that, Ron. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I put that pressure onto you just now, and it was. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I, when I got here, we all sat down and watched the caster together, and I was like, "There's my friends on the screen. I hope they win and get working here at the high res studio." <laughs> <laughs> well, like That's what Ron. You say. <laughs> Like Ron Jobber said, I feel like every time I open up Twitter, it's half of the people saying, man, stealth is killing it. You're doing a great job. And many people can catch you here at the event. Just as he said, don't sprint at him. Good to talk to you, man. It was good to talk to you guys, too. All right, get out of here. Why don't you get out of here? Okay. So <laughs> you can't stand there and look at me. You have to go to the. Ah. Glad he didn't trip on one of the many note cards that are just I almost died floating on the ground. On camera. <laughs> but you got a card for me? Actually, we're done with these. You want to take one, and I'll take one. Uh, and yeah. Do you have a lighter? Unfortunately not. All right, deal with that another day. Just. Ma it landed in the box. Oh, you got in the box? And no one saw that. Nobody's even proud of you. What? OK, OK. Right, 70's, 70's like, what about me? I matter. Everyone was looking away. 
right, and it just went right into the box. I am so upset right Well, first right of all, now. nobody saw it didn't happen, so mm -hmm. I want to I preface it with You're that. You're going to deny seeing it? It just well, let you, you went over there and put it in there. <laughs> just walked over. Yeah. You know, I need to take my mind off of the anger I have that no one saw that and bring someone that tends to bring joy to my face into the equation. Well, not so, Nick, right? It can't be Nick. Yeah. Is well, somebody I'd behind say there's, him? There's two, there's two really cool people, you know, from Paladin's side. So. Who? <laughs> You're like, you can't see Nick. He <laughs> towers above everybody else. <laughs> but <laughs> we have Nick and we have I Hold Shift. Come on down, my friends. <laughs> Literally down for Nick. Yep. I'm down here. Hey, Gabby, what's in the box? Oh, oh yeah. That, what, what is that? I'm glad you asked. There's this note card that I threw, and it landed right there. Are you impressed? It's a hell of a shot, really. Well, nobody Objective. saw it. I just want to say that nobody I saw, saw it. it. Uh, I gave nobody... you a clap. He's, he saw it. it. has to be Olympic card throwing next year for you. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, one thing, y'all saw these two if you watched any of the Paladins yesterday, and there were some really interesting sets yes. that I don't think a lot of people expected. So what was your highlight from yesterday? Oh, it's got to be Stage Station. I mean, the, the Brazil team came out of nowhere. They were struggling in their last phase, and they come out and take Fnatic to three, almost taking the set completely. I mean, we're talking 96 to 99 percent, three to three, game three. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. I'm really hyped to see the Brazilians move to the loser's bracket for sure. I feel like everyone was just so tense as it was the last determining point yes. of that series. It was actually super crazy because, you know, I'm busy on this might stage and I look at the, the match score and it's like, oh, Space Station just took a game off of Fnatic. And I kind of look around and I'm like, <laughs> what happened? So so coming into this uh, this land, we have a lot of players, you know, switched out subs, that kind of thing. Whenever you see that, especially because it happens so often with international players, how do you how do you kind of notice that they adjust, especially playing sets against I would say better teams. Well, when you got a team like the China Dream, essentially what they did, they had two teams coming here, JC Gaming and QG Craze. But they had a lot of visa issues. So what they did, just to give themselves the best real chance, is they combined the best of both of what they had to sort of form the Dream Team. And the word on the street with those guys is that they are still really scary. You know, earlier when we had Golden Boy here, he was talking about how he wants to show a little love to G2 to maybe bring it home, and everyone's throwing predictions around. So who do you think is going to take it all? You're really going to put me on the spot like that? Day I have to. <sighs> Day two. Gosh, this, why, do, why do you? Why? I have to test your analysis skills before you actually see the action, so you can't be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I thought they were going to win the <laughs> okay. whole time. So, 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 so throwing me in the bus. Uh, right, right. I honestly think it's going to be a finals of some combination of G2 and NIP. Uh, just a big reprise between North America and EU. I mean, the Kanga dudes look good, but I think it's probably going to be NIP over G2 in seven. Nice, nice. And I'll, I'll throw that one over to you. I, uh, I'm personally, I think Navi has a really good chance of making it because of their consistency. Who do you, who do you see? You know, maybe even not even a winner, just in the finals. In the finals, or even winning, I expect Kanga to win this one. Ooh. I think this is their year. Oh. Very interesting. All right, well, we'll have to actually catch the action later on, and you can catch these two casting it all along the way. So thanks for joining us, friends. You go ahead and step to the side. See you in the realm or whatever. <laughs> Is that what people say? See yeah. you in the realm? You can say it. All right, well, I'm saying it now. <laughs> well, why don't you go ahead and introduce the Smite guys that we got on up? So we've got uh, we've got Ryan Agro Bailey, and we've got Tom F. Badinger, who's coming up, and I'm really happy I get to interview because... He's my favorite person of these two. The other person I don't even like. You at home can guess. Well, anyone knows that <laughs> energy drinks are the way to my heart. And this guy made sure I had one. So even if you don't love him, I now love him internally. So thank you very much. It's just what I do. Keep it energized. I'm just loved. <laughs> well, love me. Love me. I'm sure everyone's going to love you as you're casting it, but just a couple questions with this. As far as what there is to look forward to with Smite ahead, Agro, what are you looking forward to most? I mean, the, the knockout stages today are going to be really fun. Excited to see these international teams get a chance to play against one another. But for me, you know, I'm a console guy. I'm really excited for the console semifinals later on today. There's going to be some great matches, and I'm really excited about it. So yesterday, you know, it's a little bit of tread and water. You don't really know who's going to play like they did, and it's international team, so you have no idea how they're going to come out. Whenever you see these games today, who do you, what do you think is going to be the most telling game for all of Worlds? For the knockout stage, you mean? I think that my my matchup that I'm really looking at is is how Oceana is going to do. They seem to, you know, I loved watching Mingyu yesterday against Luminosity jump on top of Barracuda, playing aggressive. I, I'm really hoping that he can continue that aggressive play style and show up in this match. Right. Okay. What about you, F. Dot? 
I just want to see Elevate play. I love yes. watching these dudes play. And honestly, when it comes to HRX, yeah, it's about the analysis, but it's also about just kind of like watching the games, the best players across the entire planet and Elevate bring that style that I, I really like to see. So I'm excited to see them. All righty. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Wait, wait, really quick. Who wins? Who wins Worlds? Oh. Uh, me. I win. You win World. Not Ron Jobbert. All right, all right. <laughs> There's your answer. So you don't win. So whatever happens, I don't win. It's up to you to create your destiny. I was hoping there'd be a 50-50 at least. <laughs> yeah, I thought there would be something, but we do have one last person to come on down, Mr. Adonis here to talk to us about, you got right over there. Some she's hand shoving you, she's trying to get us in the I, middle. I, I didn't know where I was going. Right, yeah, right. I'm confused, right. I'm, I'm new to this. Do the Hello. classic Adonis move. <laughs> well, with Hand of the Gods all set up for this weekend, how do you feel about how it's all going? Uh, it's going really well, I'm excited. Uh, I mean, we just released into early access in September. We're already running a $50,000 tournament, uh, so it's pretty exciting. We have people specifically coming to HRX for Hand of the Gods too, which is awesome to see. Uh, after, you know, just uh, a release just a few months ago. It's really cool. I just want to say up front, you know, so many players playing Hand of the Gods and so many people, you know, we flew out that are killing it, especially in the other tournaments. Who do you think is going to be pulling out this tournament, unless it's too hard to tell? Um, I think it'll be really interesting. One side of the bracket uh, is pretty stacked. Uh, I have Mezelji, though, who has a little bit of experience in card mm -hmm. games before. I think he's going to take this one. All right, All right. Well. Thanks for joining us, man. Everyone can catch some Hand of the Gods action. And if you're here, you can play it. So look forward to yeah, that. Yeah, play we'll it, actually. See you around. Hey, get out of here. Get out Go. of here. Bye. The get one guy here. that went the other way. Yeah, at least everybody else wanted to go that way. <laughs> but that actually does it for all of the interviews that we had lined up. Any last words, Ron Jopper, before we throw it over? I just want to say I'm very happy to be here. I think the red carpet is very fun. I'm glad that I'm doing it with you. And I hope everybody enjoys the keynote, the opening ceremony, everything today, everything for Worlds is going to be insane. Yep. The keynote is stacked. Yes. The competition is stacked. Also, yes. There's so many people rushing through these doors right now. So with that, I know what you're waiting for, friends. Let's go ahead and find out what's happening in the arena.